got the straight across ones with my aunt, and then I got the first cross ones with myself. All right, these are the way to see the Morning. Thanks very much. Um, we published a private member's bill uh, earlier in the week, which will be debated tomorrow. Uh, it's calling on the government to establish a public service broadcasting fund to support journalism uh, in the local radio sector. Uh, as you know, uh, a requirement of all uh, radio stations or lo local radio uh, are required to provide 20% uh, of their content uh, as news and current affairs. Recognising that, uh, many of the uh, local entities are facing very significant uh, financial pressures as a result of a fall-off uh, in their advertising revenues. Much of that revenue, as you know, is moving to uh, the digital platforms and to the social media platforms. So it is becoming more and more difficult for local radio stations to continue to provide uh, local news and current affairs. It's impacting on the newsrooms, um, and we're seeing, in some cases, pressure to retain uh, that independent uh, journalism. We think that's serious. We think it has the capacity to undermine some of the democratic principles that exist out there. Many of the radio stations, as you know, provide very good local uh, news and current affairs covering an array of, of, of issues right across their, their jurisdictions. And we take the view that if that news and current affairs uh, is valuable, is of interest and is needed, well then it's worth paying for it. Uh, we believe that the funding can come from a better collection uh, of our national licence fee. Uh, as you know, the Communications Committee last year did a body of work uh, looking at the future funding of public service broadcasting, uh, and there's quite a few recommendations there, but it's well recognised uh, that from an Irish perspective we're way behind in terms of collecting the licence fee. There's between 35 and 50 million lost every year to uncollected fees, and we believe if that money is collected, it can go a long way in ensuring that we protect and maintain the level of, of quality local uh, journalism that's that's there and, 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 and doing its work. And obviously, uh, the balance of that uh, funds will be needed to support RTE as recognised um, by the BAI. So we'll take any questions. Jimmy, how much are you suggesting should be put into this fund every year? I know you're saying 35 to 50 million is foregone in license fees, but we probably wouldn't all wouldn't get all that. So how much of a starting fee? Yeah, I, th I, I, I think 10 million initially uh, would, 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 would certainly go a long way. We're saying 25% of whatever that, that fund might be. Uh, but if you look to our nearest neighbour, the, the, the level of uncollected uh, license fees in the UK is as low as four, 3 or 4%. It, it's relatively low because they've had... Uh, a, ver a very good model of, of, of collecting the licence fees. So the money is there, some people are paying it, some aren't, so we just need to address that. How are you going to bring in the money to me? Because obviously there has been campaigns, there has been a push, it has improved a little bit, I think, in recent years. But, uh, yeah, you know, I mean, people the, don't pay it, never pay it. Yeah, and I, I think there are a, a lot of people will say that they've never been targeted in a way that they might expect to be, that whilst there's, there's some publicity campaigns, there hasn't been the kind of direct approach that's needed on the ground. Um, that's for the government to decide. The Communications Committee last year in its report uh, suggested that the revenue commissioners um, should be detailed with it and I understand that there was some discussion between the department and the revenue commissioners last year. That needs to be brought to a head. Uh, we're you back that idea? Yeah, I have no issue with that idea. I mean, it's about getting, it's about getting the funding in, in place. It's about ensuring that the money is not, not lost, if you want, uh, that it's there to support um, the, the, the important work that, that independent journalism delivers. How about that? extending the, the licence fee? Because obviously a lot of people moved away from television and that was the, the crux of why you should have to pay it. So yeah, and that's, that, 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 that is already, that is already uh, recognised in the, um, the committee's report. It makes, it makes it clear that it has to extend beyond just the, the tight definition uh, of what a television uh, license was or what a television, the, the instrument was in, in, in that particular um, report. How would that money be particularly divided among stations because they all obviously have a different remit and different levels of uh, new and current affairs? Yeah, providing. well, unlike the government, Fianna Fáil doesn't intend to decide where the money goes, uh, like the government did with its, its strategic uh, campaigning um, uh, entity that they had in place uh, that was dismantled last year. Our view is that that's an issue for the Broadcasting Authority. Broadcasting Authority will set the criteria 
um, and we'll decide in what manner uh, and what kind of projects are funded. We think that's the right way to do, as they currently do, uh, with the Sound and Vision Fund, which supports certain work uh, within the independent sector, um, and obviously through RTE as well, the independent sector is supported through the um, Sound and Vision Fund, and, and we believe that the same type of approach managed independently by the BAI is the best way to do with this. The government's also said they want to take the approach of half funding the BAI through the licence fee, so to reduce the broadcasting heavy on individual broadcasts, is that something you'd support? Yeah, well it is, and, and we mentioned it in our in our private members' uh, motion tomorrow. That was a commitment made by Enda Kenny uh, around the time of the, the last election where uh, the, the independent sector would, would, would have a reduction in their levy uh, of 50%. That, that is, has yet to be uh, brought, brought into play by this administration. Can I ask you a question really about local newspapers? I mean, this uh, private member's motion covers radio stations, but local newspapers are also in crisis because of the fall of advertising, and there are some local newspapers who no longer cover county councils or who cover local courts, which would be seen as pillars of democracy. Does Fianna Fáil have any proposals in that regard? We do, and I published a, a paper on that previously where uh, we looked at ensuring that there was a ring fenced fund again. We suggested broadening the remit uh, of the Broadcasting Authority to encompass the print media. Um, and at that time, our proposal was that, a, again, a fund be established to support uh, you know, public interest journalism uh, at local and, and, and national level. Um, we believed in that instance that, that the funding should be provided by a levy uh, and uh, advertising revenues going through um, the digital sector uh, or the digital platforms that a relatively small levy there um, on, on advertising in the in, in the uh, digital sector would be appropriate uh, and could be used to fund uh, the support uh, and support journalism at uh, in the print sector. We, we, we've already published a document on that. I mean, the best way to do all this would surely be to increase the TV license to make sure there's a lot of funding there. To, to no, I don't think so. I don't think that's I don't think that's necessary, and I don't think that that would be fair. Uh, I think there's already a, a large percentage. Uh, of the citizens of the state paying a licence fee and there are some, quite frankly, who can and don't. Uh, and I think in the interest of fairness, uh, if we're to be fair and equitable, then we've got to ensure that we collect the, 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 the funding that's, uh, that's out there uh, and uh, isn't being paid. Would you get the revenue commissioners involved? Yeah, that was a recommendation of the committee uh, and I think it's a sensible one uh, and I think it's one which um, in the past has been effective. Um, certainly in, in, in relation to the uh, non principal private residence uh, property related charges. Uh, when that was administered by the local authorities, it had success. Um, when it transferred to the revenue commissioners, it had enhanced success. And Timmy, local radio stations are the bread and butter for a lot of politicians, so what would you say to cynics who would say this is a bit of a stunt for local elections this year? Uh, no, I think if you look at our track record in relation to this area, we have, since, since, since I come into this role, I've taken an approach uh, about, about advancing this case. I've previously published a bill uh, on supporting the, the, the local uh, radio sector. I'm done and we published a paper on the, the, the print sector. It's about recognising there's a problem. Uh, and it's about moving beyond just recognising the problem. It's about identifying solutions. And that's what we're about, about solutions and about delivery. I think as well it's fair to say, just to come back to that, so we've been consistent on this through the committee, the Fianna Fáil position has been clear since we started in this stall. Um, I think the fundamental principle is that public service broadcasting, public service journalism is a public good and should be funded in the same way as other public goods are. Um, similar to the work I've been doing around social media, uh, we're seeing an attack on democracy, an attack on independent news stations, um, be it for commercial, be it for political um, or other purposes. And it's so important that independent quality journalism can focus objectively on current affairs, uh, giving news integrity uh, and giving unbiased uh, information to the to the public as it's a cornerstone of democracy. It's a cornerstone of, of any um, of any democracy, any free media, uh, and it should be funded in the same in the same way. You yeah, might not have had time to see it yet this morning, but the Supreme Court's ruled in the Angela Kearns case, and what could have quite a significant impact for a number of doll committees. So, have you initial, initial reaction? To that? Yeah, I've just read the headlines. I haven't had a chance to read the report. Um, I sit on the Commission of the House, so so obviously we will have to. Uh, take a very serious look at what has happened. I, I think it, it certainly raises a flag in, in relation to uh, how uh, committees uh, exercise their, their function. 
um, and, and, and and I think obviously o o over time we'll have to we'll have to address that and look look, look more more carefully and more clearly how we might do that. Jimmy, do you think John McGuinness was um, too harsh in his questioning? I'm not going to get into the individual case here. Um, I think that wouldn't be prudent. I think it's better to wait that we have an opportunity uh, to read the documentation, um, and, and, and obviously then we can we can comment further at a later stage. But what do you think this means for public, the public accounts committee in particular? I think it's difficult to say that you know to make a comment on that in isolation without having read uh, the comments uh, of the judges. I've been relying on the flashes that come to my screen from various different media outlets so until, until such time as we understand uh, the decision that has been taken by the courts it will be difficult to, to, to comment. Just without referring to anything in specific at all, do you think the Public Accounts Committee um, is often accused of ambulance chasing? Do you think that's a valid, valid? I think the Public Accounts Committee does exceptionally good work. I think it can be difficult at times for members uh, in their effort to try to get to the bottom uh, of, 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 of certain issues um, and at the end of the day there are very few on any committee that are trained lawyers, so they're, 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 they're lay people, in essence, trying to get at the truth uh, on behalf of the taxpayer in, in most cases. Um, and for sure, there are ro robust exchanges, um, but, but, but perhaps in light of uh, the judgment, um, various different members of, of, of all committees will have to take stock of that. I mean, that, you know, that, that, that will follow, but I think people will have, will have to have an opportunity to read the judgment uh, and and effectively inform themselves from there on, but I think we wouldn't would call them ambulance chases, would you? No, I think that 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 practice, whilst those kind of headlines get used, I, I, I certainly am not aware of that practice being deployed in committees generally. Okay, thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. Just give the line. Just say I'm just just come on. Just give the line. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just say, repeat the question, please. <laughs> Enjoy your trip away, my friends. You at home again? No, it's just a bit of junket.